Now, I invite ICMUS to present the nomination of Santini Kitan, India. ICMUS, you may have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Good afternoon. This is the presentation of the ICMUS evaluation of Santini Kitan in India. The ICMUS report can be found in the document 8, INF 8B1 on page 55 of the English version and page 70 of the French version. Next slide, please. Santinikatan was established in rural West Bengal in 1901 by Rabindranath Tagore, an internationally recognized Nobel laureate, poet, writer and thinker, known for his humanist ideals. Santinikatan was established as a residential school and centre for art based on ancient Indian traditions and on a vision of the unity of humanity transcending re religious and cultural boundaries. It embodies ideals of internationalism and an emerging pan-Asian modernity. The built elements display eclectic influences from various Asian and international sources and a revived attention to the local. In 1921, Santinikatan became a world university, Visva Bharati, which continues today applying educational approaches based on an interpretation of Vedic traditions. These include the importance of the pavilions and gardens, artworks, use of traditional materials, open air classrooms and participation in cultural festivals. Set within the historical context of early 20th century India, Santinikatan reflected a push away from colonial templates and influenced leaders of the Indian freedom movement. The comparative analysis demonstrates the significance of Santinikatan as an early 20th century place of learning and in terms of its expression of local and internationalist philosophies. It also establishes that Santinikatan influenced other educational and cultural institutions in the South Asian region. While the property was nominated on the basis of criteria two and six, ICOMOS considers that the nominated property meets criteria four and six, based on the productive engagements with the state party and the receipt of additional information. Next slide, please. This slide shows the nominated portion of the campus outlined in red. It includes the three areas that were established during Tagore's life. The extent of the present-day university campus defines the buffer zone, which is outlined in blue, and the wider setting has also been defined by the state party. The continuing educational and cultural uses of the nominated area within the Visva Bharati campus are attributes alongside the buildings and building interiors and the eclectic character of the architecture, landscape, and artworks that illustrate experimentation based on Tagore's philosophies. The requirements for authenticity and integrity have been met. Some aspects of the property's authenticity are potentially vulnerable due to any future changes in materials or uses or social and educational changes. Next slide, please. The nominated property is protected by a national law that established Visva Bharati as an institution of national importance based on the ideals of Tagore. The management system is dependent on the effective operation of the Visva Bharati Heritage Committee, supported by relevant national and local authorities. Some recommendations have been made to further strengthen the legal protection and management system. The condition of the nominated property has been supported by conservation and restoration projects achieved through partnerships with Indian specialist agencies. Further recommendations about improving the documentation and monitoring have also been provided. Next slide, please. Here is a summary of the ICOMOS evaluation of the proposed outstanding universal value of the nominated property. Next slide, please. To conclude, ICMOS recommends that Santinikatan, India be inscribed in the World Heritage List on the basis of criteria four and six, and has included a number of further recommendations as already outlined to aid the long-term conservation of the property. Next slide, please. Thank you for your attention. 
Thank you very much. I'd like to see if there are any comments regarding this nomination. I see none, and I therefore invite you, dear colleagues, to adopt the draft decision 45COM 8B.10. But before doing so, I'd like to ask the rapporteur if she has received any amendments on the draft decision proposed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We have received no amendment for the draft decision 45COM 8B.10. Thank you very much. Are there any comments? I see none. And I therefore declare draft decision 45COM 8B.10 adopted. <laughs> Congratulations, India, on behalf of the entire committee. India, you may have the floor. Mr. Chair, Namaste and Salam. India rejoices and celebrates the inclusion of Shanti Niketan on the World Heritage List. On behalf of my country, I offer my thanks to the World Heritage Committee, the Secretariat and ECOMOS who supported this property and recognized the outstanding universal value of Shanti Niketan under Agenda 45 COM 8B.10. I thank the Ministry of Culture, Government of India, and India's expert body, the Archaeological Survey of India, for their tireless efforts. Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, is the Chancellor of Shanti Niketan, and it is his birthday today. Hence, the inscription of Shanti Niketan on the World Heritage List is a welcome gift. Shanti Niketan, situated in rural Bengal, is associated with the work and philosophies of Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore, world-famous poet, artist, musician, philosopher, and recipient of the Nobel Prize in Literature, 1913. Established initially as an ashram in 1863 by his father, Rabindranath Tagore began in 1901 its transformation into a residential school and a center for art based on the ancient Indian teaching system of Gurukul. His vision was oriented at the unity of humanity, or Vishwabharati. Shanti Niketan embraced a unique brand of internationalism that drew upon ancient, medieval, and folk traditions of India, as well as Japanese, Chinese, Persian, Balinese, Burmese, and Art Deco forms. Many of these themes are seen in his Gitanjali, his collection of poems, which he wrote while living in Shanti Niketan. I conclude, Mr. Chair, by quoting the motto of Shanti Niketan, taken from an ancient Sanskrit verse, Yatra Vishwam Bhavateka Nidam, where the whole world can meet in a nest. We invite everyone to visit this nest and explore the universalism of Shanti Niketan. I will now say a line in the Bengali language, congratulating the people of India. Samastha Bharatiya De Abhinandan. Thank you and Bharat Mata Ki Jai.